Yeah, you gotta write 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 that book, man. I am. Start start with the acknowledgments. Okay. It's the one piece of advice I give you. Who do who do you want to think? Who's made that difference in your life? Mm -hmm. That might give you the uh, and I'll give you a couple of pieces of advice. That first book, The Champion in You, every year, Charles, I would say, all right, finish your book. Finish your book. Now, this is six years deep into this process, right? Yeah. This book ain't War and Peace. It's like 130 pages, right? Yeah. But what happened was I was on one of those planes on 911. I was down in Miami. I got a boarding pass with 8.46 a.m. on that day. That was the exact time that plane hit that first tower. Wow. Now we're on the tarmac, I'm in, in, in Miami, you know, plane, the pilot comes on, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a plane hit the World Trade Center, uh, we're gonna be not taking off. Here's where my training as a venue manager comes in, because we get into the, the terminal, yeah. and then they come on and say, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're probably not gonna be leaving until five o'clock today. I'm like, if they saying we ain't leaving till five o'clock, we ain't leaving. Yeah. So, <laughs> I called my travel agent in Charlotte. I said, hey, I need a rental car. By the time I got to the rental car agent, there were four cars left at the Miami airport. So I got a Toyota Tercel. Can you imagine me? I'm driving back from Miami in this Tercel. You know, and that was the, before the days of social media. And so you're yeah. turning the radio, like trying to find out what's going on, what's going on. But I say that to say that was really the impetus for me. Like, man, you could have died that day. I, you got to finish this book, but I will tell you, I asked one of the one of the, an artist, like, man, when do you know the painting is finished? And he said, it's never finished. And that was very liberating for me because I kept trying to make the book better. Like, I, I think I can find a better quote for this little passage, you know, and I said, you just got to put it out there. It's not going to be perfect. And so that's what I would encourage you to do if you really want to write a book. R write it and then save some of the perfect for the second book. Because you have two books in you. People say you got one book, but once you write the first one, you you'll have some reflections and you'll want to write the second one as well.